So guess what I'm making today? I'm your long down chef Dinat Singh and today I'm going to show you an amazing ice cream recipe. And my ice cream uses no dairy ingredients which makes it totally vegan. And I'm calling it my polar coconut ice cream. So the ingredients are pretty simple if you see there's sugar, there's coconut and there's some coconut milk. So in my first step, I'm going to make some coconut condensed milk. With this here, canned coconut milk. So three quarters cup of sugar. So the coconut milk I put in the fridge overnight and this is how it looks. The cream is on top so I don't want the cream in this process. I'm going to take out the cream and keep it in a separate bowl. So this is what my coconut cream looks like. So this is some coconut that I've cut into fine strips. I'm going to put this into the blender to make a nice smooth paste. So there was about half a coconut which I had cut into thin strips and added to my blender to which I added the remaining water from the milk out of which I had taken out the cream. So this is the consistency that I've got. It's nice and chewy so your ice cream is going to be a chewy ice cream not the smooth creamy ice cream that you're used to. Now this I'll cook first on a high flame and then I switch it to a medium simmer. Keep stirring. So you notice the bubbles on the top and when they start appearing uh, this is when the stove has to be put on simmer and stop stirring it. You notice a change of color at this point, don't worry, it is going to turn a bit dark grey. Just let it. What we need right now is to allow it to simmer and let the water reduce and eventually we'll have a less amount of thickened sweetened liquid which is our coconut condensed milk. Now in the meanwhile, I'll cut thin strips of the remaining coconut which I'm going to toast and this will be my garnish for the ice cream when it's ready. So my condensed milk is totally done now. I'm going to cool it down for some time and then I'm going to keep it in the fridge for about 2-3 hours. So this baby is out of the fridge now and as you can see it looks whiter than what it was when we were heating it and now we are going to be using this for our ice cream mix. But first I'm going to put the cream that we took out from the coconut milk. We have about two tablespoons of the cream and make sure you put equal parts of cream and condensed milk. whisk this cream a bit to a soft peak consistency before I add the condensed milk to it. You see there's absolutely no difference between dairy cream and coconut cream. It gives you the same consistency and the same creamy look. The reason that we whisk it because we need to introduce some air bubbles into the cream mixture which gives the ice cream its lovely lovely creamy texture and now to the whisk cream I'm going to add some coconut condensed milk so about the same amount but if you need it sweeter you can add more so I'm adding two tablespoons of the condensed milk and I'm going to whisk the two some more You see how white it looks now. And I love the small dots of coconut, dark coconut skin, which gives it a really, really nice texture and, of course, a chewy flavor as well. Now, 
So at this stage it looks really white and snowy but I don't want it to remain white and snowy I want it to have a tinge of blue because I'm calling it my polar coconut ice cream so I add a little bit of food color blue food color yes so just about half a teaspoon of blue and I whisk it some more Now you see the lovely blue color. So let me just add, the blue is totally optional. You don't have to put the blue color. You can just leave it as it is. And now this lovely blue ice cream, I'm going to keep in the freezer for about an hour. I'm going to leave the spoon in it because I'm going to take it out after some time to give it a stir so I get an even creamy texture. But before that, I'm going to quietly take a dip out of it and make sure it tastes lovely. Mmm, it's quite good. So on a hot pan, I'm going to put, put the coconut flakes and roast them lightly. Roasted coconut has its own very unique flavor, which will really add. And this I'm going to use for the garnish on top of the ice cream. You can see the, the tips browning a bit. Just let it brown a bit more. And we are good to go. So I'm just going to check how well my freezing is progressing. Anyway, I have to give a whisk also to the ice cream bowl. So it's freezing pretty well. And I just want to give it a nice mix. So there are no crystals that are forming inside my ice cream. And now it goes back into the freezer. Uh, so I'm really excited about the ice cream and I'm sure my official taster would be too, especially given the color of the ice cream. But more than that, the taste is going to make him really, really excited about tasting this particular dish. So I have to tell you a very important thing. This may be a vegan ice cream, but it doesn't mean that it's just meant for people who are vegan. It's meant for anyone who loves ice cream and desserts because it has an amazing, amazing taste. Hey Kazuo. Hello DC. Today I've got a really special dish that you would really enjoy. What is it? Look at this. Whoa, is this ice cream? Yes, yes, it is ice cream. You know, I called it my polar coconut ice cream. So, why do you name it polar? Because it's blue. Oh. And coconut, you'll find out soon. Come on, have a bite. Yeah, it's mostly coconut yeah, and sugar. Yeah, mostly coconut. And it has no milk in it. It's just coconut cream, coconut pulp, and coconut milk. Isn't that amazing? It is. Mmm. It's so yummy. Yeah. And in this weather, it just uh, fills you with the coolness of coconut. of coconut and the polar ice caps. Mm. We are eating polo ice caps! Polo ice caps is melting, we have to eat it fast. 